Hey everybody, Kelly here. So I'm sitting here and I'm getting ready to film this video and I, my husband just came in from work and I'm asking him, I was thinking, he's at, no, I'm sorry, I'm sitting here and I'm getting ready to film it and, and he's wondering why I'm just sitting here and I'm, I said to him, you know, I'm trying to think of a way to start this video and his response was, why don't you start off by saying, hey all you cats and kittens, mama says you got a new bowl of milk. Yeah, I thought that was hysterical, and I was really trying not to laugh while I'm saying it now. Um, but the reason for the whole video is to show you this mini album that I created. It's a handmade envelope mini album or a little pocket mini album. Um, it, the whole idea came from when we, we, we live in Springfield, Oregon now, and uh, we used to live out in Mount Bethel, Pennsylvania, and so we were out in, out east. We used to do a lot of craft shows, and so one of the things that I had um, done for a craft show were these little note cards, and they started out like this. And each inside each envelope is a note card, and it's just for gift giving or um, putting money in or um, like a little money envelope or just something to write a note to someone to say congratulations, thank you, love you, you know, you're the best, you know, all you cats and kittens, <laughs> you know, something just to put in there, just to, I guess, with a gift or whatever you want to use them for. So I had a whole bunch of them left over, and these are all the ones that did not sell. As cute as they are, nope, they did not sell. I love them. So I have all these, and I guess they really like them to turn them into little mini albums. And why not? This is a great idea for them, right? Yeah, I thought so too. So this is the one that I've been working on. This is um, one of my favorites, and it's because it's yellow, and that is my favorite color. And just that you all know exactly what my favorite color is. It's important to know that, why I don't know. But nonetheless, yellow is my favorite color. And this is the mini album that I'm starting. So this is the front cover. I haven't finished it yet. Like I said, I'm just working on it. But I want to show you what I have so far. Um, so each envelope has its own little border, a little uh, hinge to it that I, um, what is it, one about two inches folded in half, two inches wide, folded in half by, oh, I don't even remember how wide these were, four inches, I take that back to four inches, four inches by two inches, and I um, squirted down the middle, folded in half, punched the ends with the Fisker's corner punch, and then took um, my hole puncher, I almost forgot what it was, hole puncher, it punched the holes in the, in the end here, and uh, bound it with just a silver or gray ribbon, the little gray sheer ribbon it got it at, the, at the dollar store. So this is the front cover, and as you open it up, my tags fall out, but the tags will go in here. And these are my tags. I'm, I kept everything circle, kind of symmetrical to the paper itself. And I just cut out two circles, a gray one and a white one, um, at, inked around the edges with yellow pigment ink, put some pearls on the end, the flat back pearls on the end, just as something to grab hold of so I could take them out of the pocket. I'm also doing this with one hand, so please bear with me. Um, and here's a second tag, just for some journaling and maybe a photo. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. And then as you open it, if I can, there we go. Here's the, the card for a big photo mat. It'll be a nice three by five, because they're, they're fairly long. If really, this is definitely hold a three by five photo. Um, so just a, a, a mat, and each mat is the same. There's four. There's four envelopes in, in this album, and they're all the same. So they're all cut with the same edge die. Um, some gray flat back pearls. I um, dotted each placement, dotted all the placements of where I wanted the pearls, and then hand glued them down in this design. Um, a silk flower and its coordinating leaf. There we go. That's what the word is. And this is this is the second page. I tucked a doily behind. I made a photo mat that folds out. There we go. And then inside the photo mat is another uh, tag for journaling. Yeah, cuteness. And that just tucks in between. The photos. And then you turn it over. Here's another pocket I made with some doily 
with some doily. With a doily. <laughs> this is a gardenia flower, a silk flower. All the flowers in here are silk flowers, and I got them at like the um, the uh, the local thrift store. So it would be like a Goodwill or Salvation Army out here at St. Vincent's de Paul's, and so that's where I picked up those flowers from. Again, I hand glued all the rind, all the flat back pearls. Another tag. And another larger tag. Journaling on the back. I'm sliding over to this side. Um, journaling spot on the front. Some silk flowers. Some gray flat back pearls. Again, I um, placed them down by hand. Here's a little, another tag on the side. Sorry about that. Sorry about the little wiggle. Tag. Tag. So photo mat. And then this one is just the pocket. So the tag just slides right back on inside. Wow, one hand's hard. There we go. So it slips in there. And you turn the page. And another photo mat. Hand place uh, flat back pearls. Some silk flowers. Here's that same uh, gray ribbon that ties on the front and it's just tied around here just for decoration another um, silk flower and a little card and some journaling that's all and a little pocket and that slips back in and then last page is another gardenia some more flatback pearls here and up here. And then this is um, our photo mat. And the rhinestones are on, on the ribbon so that a photo can actually be tucked back here. And this I Velcro so it stays down. A little Velcro, see the Velcro? And this opens up to another folding photo mat and a pocket down below with two more tags. And that closes. Closes and Velcros. Taking my flower petal back out. Why do we always get so picky when we want to do things? Because it has to look perfect, right? <laughs> Nonetheless. And then this is the back. Another hand, hand placed pearl swirl, a flourish. Another pocket. And one last big tag for photos. So there you have it. So there's my album. And I'm still in the process of finishing, and I want to do a little more embellishment. I'll ink the edges here with gray and not yellow. Um, but yeah, so there you have it. And I like it. I'm happy with it. It was my favorite color, and I really adore the whole yellow and gray combination. And so yeah, there's my album, minus the tags, starting out from this to something like this. So there you go. I think it's to make some really great ideas for gifts. Something really quick and simple. And I think it's probably what I'm going to do for Christmas and give those out to some coworkers. So there you have it. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Please leave a comment down below. I really would love to hear what you think. Uh, any ways that you think I may be able to improve or embellish upon what has already been placed down. But let me know. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.